Hello, my fellow commies. Welcome to the Barashka. Welcome to Communist Russia, where we do nothing with our lives but eat potato and help each other. We have no PlayStation, we barely have water, but we live happy life. I'm not sure what that was. Well, I'll tell you what it is about. I've found a very interesting little um, video story today. So Edmonton, a place in the United States of America, um, have basically um, found a working off-grid community. Uh, and as the guy said, they just came in and destroyed it. Now, obviously, communism doesn't really work. Um, however, these guys had found a little sort of niche home. They were making it. Look, we'll go into it. So they had a mini power grid, solar panels, multiple home appliances. It was discovered by the city of Edmonton and Edmonton Police Service, a joint response in Camden team. It was almost completely camouflaged, included four multi-level structures surrounded by a fence made of trees and broken branches. The structures have been built without nails in other forms of support and were a risk to collapse so they say inside police and park ranger found fire stoves with lit fire stone fireplaces stone and marble flooring a working fire a working fridge and washing machine so they've got the bare necessities Simple bare necessities. they weren't smelly that's the most important thing they were able to get there you know shill it bang in the washing machine and give it a cleanse they had electrical everything live electrical wires were strung ha haphazardly <laughs> this seems like propaganda they're just trying to throw in all the problems and say why it doesn't work even though they were happy now this gets into the slightly more worrying things power supplied by four generators with solar panels empowering a chop shop for stolen bikes so it was kind of like a mini crime community which is interesting you know you started off well they were living alone no 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 one else coming in and then you read this paragraph 15 weapons including three guns imagine what else they had i mean a katana i don't know a mace maybe a, Dr a daedric mace i've been playing a blip for smashing people's faces in at look i don't know maybe it was just a couple of baseball bats i don't know what they class as a weapon over in america i'm surprised that they put 15 weapons there and there were only three guns but anyway what do i know about eight thousand dollars worth of stolen goods wow police have returned so far two backpack blowers and one mountain bike to their rightful owners so obviously these guys were kind of a bit scummy i mean yeah it's nice to live on your own and be away from society but stealing a man's bike i mean I'd be pretty peed off. 20 violation tickets were written and 10 warrants executed. The encampment caused significant environmental damage to the trees, root system and nearby creek was damaged in multiple places. Those living in it were told to get the fuck out after it was destroyed and blown up, probably with like a mini nuclear bomb. And you know, they were practicing for the future and they were offered services and support, which they refused. Too right, you fucking destroyed their own. Why the fuck would they want that help from the government who just did that? To say I'm in, not impressed, that would be a lie. Uh, I would say incredibly unique uh, in my experience. Wow, it's like a kid's so dream. Far, I haven't seen anything. Uh, this it's like the ultimate this kid's elaborate. playhouse. We're just off Fulton Creek uh, in the 34th Street area, just off of a. It's not very clean though, is it? To uh, an illegal encampment that's been uh, set up. They've got solar solar panels. We've recovered uh, four generators, two of which were buried underground to power everything. Uh, there is a creek, uh, like I mentioned, and they have a generator stuck into the ground there to pump water to the, the site for a running sink and... Wow, so they actually use water from the, the, the dam, or whatever you guys call it, to bring it into the house to use, to wash their pans, to wash their dishes, to shower in. I mean, yeah, don't get me wrong, it looks a bit of a shithole. It's not somewhere I'd personally like to sleep, but it's kind of cool. I mean, to be able to do this, to get your solar panels hooked up, have flowing water, I, I presume they have their own food, I'm sure none of them work, um, <laughs> but that's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, I'm quite impressed. I mean, I, again, you know, I, I understand. Oh, look, there's a woman in the back. Do you see that? Ruined. <laughs> Do you see that there? You, you see her with a big... It's like a post route GTA. I mean, her voluptuous breasts are dangling in front of my eyes. If I saw her every day, yeah, I'd build a pretty good fucking base. But this is literally like the ultimate kid's playhouse, isn't it? The ultimate Minecrafter, like, little kid's wet dream. Like, they, they've been building this since they were 10, and now some dickheads come in and ruined it for them. I mean, you know, this was their lifelong goal, their lifelong ambitions. So this is the more extensive of the two sites here, if you want to follow me. Yes, sir. It's a little bit tight. That's what she said. <laughs> they, a fireplace, obviously chimney up front, out, out the top there. Wow. Operational sink, operational laundry machine. Bridge. Wow. 
coffee maker. I mean, again, it's a shithole, isn't it? Oh, is that a bong or is that a vibrator? I can't tell. So they were clearly hippie-esque, you know, they wanted to live in peace, which I, 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 I like. I think it's important for these people to live how they want. We shouldn't tell them that their way is wrong just because we don't want to live like that. But I also think, like, you can't steal eight grand worth of people's shit, you know what I mean? Like, that's prison. Like, that, that's what happens to people, you know what I mean? I understand they might have been struggling, but just because you live in an off-road community and are stealing power and are stealing water, which I, I know I said stealing, but I don't really care about that. That's not my power you're stealing, really. But to steal eight grand of people's stuff, a bike, like a mountain bike, you don't need that stuff, mate. You know what I mean? You're meant to be like hippies. I thought you were trying to be like, you know, peace and love, man. You wanted to capture the floor. This was all natural earth, uh, but they brought in stone, stone tiles. The flooring is not something I had seen before at one of these uh, encampments. It was all installed, almost marble flooring. This is all connected to their solar panels. Uh, a bit of a chop shop was going on. Yeah, we got uh, welding equipment. Uh, we removed the, the bikes to check the serial numbers, and it just kind of goes further back and back. We've come across shop. Wow, look at that. So there are the weapons. So they got a crossbow, they got a knife, a hunting rifle, another type of, is that an AR-15 or some sort? They got swords, they got a, a bat that looks older than I am. You know, they've got some hella equipment here. I mean, they've got loads of kit, sort of like drills, saws, big fucking, I can't remember what you call them. You got drills as well. Wow, propane tank. You know, they've got everything. Like, they really are chilling. Shotgun shells. Uh, knives, machetes, and a couple other uh, firearms located within the encampment here. <clears throat> One of our park rangers uh, had his drone out earlier. It was very difficult to see with the black. Oh yeah, look at that! It's well the, hidden, really. Apart from the, to, uh, apart from the big fucking solar panel stuck there in it. It's well hidden, apart from the big blue thing. The leaves and earth that they use to uh, conceal it here. The, the fencing that they've created. Dude, they're dressed like they're entering a CSI crime scene. Property even outside a little bit there and with how thick they kind of interlocked the uh the branches um it's it's actually difficult to see especially in the middle of summer uh when we we arrived we were able to confirm that five people were were sleeping here uh the five one gentleman who did admit to being here the longest did state that he was here since last winter honestly wow. extreme safety concerns uh, as you may have seen you've seen the fireplaces there is wire strung in and around the whole area inside the houses there that is definitely not secure as you can see there's no nails there's no there's no rope or anything one bad gust to win one uh bad weather night and that thing could come down and crush uh, whoever's yes yeah, it's a nice idea isn't it but it, you know if we're talking about minecraft terms this shit's made of sand you know what i mean you just throw one block and the whole thing's collapsing like i was gonna say something very wrong but i can't say that this shit's collapsing like kamala harris at a, a rally the ship's collapsing faster than the Titanic. I said it goddamn. That wasn't what I was going to say. It was going to be even worse, imagine. But yeah, this is a cute little community. Um, it's very unsafe. I think that's what they'll say, though, isn't it? Uh, oh, yeah, it's really unsafe. Uh, there's people... They just don't want people living like this. They're not paying taxes. They're not doing anything, you know to contribute so they're like well we'll put them to bed let's end it let's put them to finish and it's sad but it's it's a cool little bit of um a cool interesting story i thought let me know what you think it'd be quite interesting to live like that i don't think i can live um in dirt personally but i, I like it it's nice it's um definitely creative taking a lot of hard work and energy and it's sad for someone's all that to have gone but again you know what i mean it's it isn't safe they said there was wires hanging around you know maybe that police officer cares about safety um i don't think anyone else who would have um anyone else who would have done that oh so it's not in america it's in canada apologies what a derogatory piece of shit i am making assumptions because they sound like americans they'd live in america so as you can see edmonton middle of fucking nowhere mate absolutely middle of nowhere that's sad isn't it so they're living in the middle of nowhere and these guys have just come and fucking ruined their day big old country though isn't it there you could get real lost I wonder what's oh mate you don't realize how big canada is do you i mean where do people live they live in quebec i presume um i don't know I don't know. Look, I'm, I'm sure it's fucking cold up there, though, isn't it, mate? Northwest Territories, is it? Yeah, it looks cold, isn't it? Not for me. I'm a white boy. I like a bit of heat on my butt cheeks in the morning. Anyway, guys, thank you. Good night. God bless.